Hello everyone, this is uh, GardeningGuy97, also known as Armando, and so here I have a little mini update in my indoor garden, um, and also the pumpkin too. And so here are the plants that I have so far inside the garden, um, except the onions. The onions are still under the grow lights, but not much has happened to them, so I decided to exclude them out of, outside of this video. So here's the pumpkin um, that I harvested um, in November, back in November. Before it frosted, and so it's actually it's ripening. Actually, I'm surprised because I thought that oh, it's not gonna ripen because it's not in a vine anymore, but it's actually ripening. So, um, hopefully by January it will start getting a bit ripe, um, completely orange. But I'm also kind of concerned over here because it's starting to rot a bit. And I saw a bit of mold, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a huge threat to it though. But overall, it's doing well the pumpkin and I'm pretty glad of that um, it still needs obviously a bit more time before it's completely ripe but with time I'll see that hopefully it gets ripe and over here is the lettuce and in an earlier video I planted some lettuce I showed you all that I planted the lettuce inside this bowl and so now here it is little lettuce seedlings and they're barely starting to make their true leaves because first they make these little leaves right here that I'm holding these are the fake leaves, also cotyledon leaves, I think that that's their name. But they're fake leaves, they basically like have these leaves when they're like um, still at the very early stages. But then you start making these leaves over here, which are true seed, uh, true uh, seedling leaves. And so they're st barely starting to make these true, um, true leaves, and I'm kind of glad. Um, however, I'm going to have to thin them out a bit because they're starting to overcrowd a bit, but I'll do that later. I just need to... Um, thin them once they're starting to um, grow their own true leaves and so they're starting to do that so I think right now is the appropriate time to do that so I'll do that later though and here are sweet potatoes I forgot to mention this in an early I forgot to make an earlier video showing some stuff because I added some new stuff to the indoor garden and sweet potatoes was one of them now sweet potato plants you have to like um, start them like three months before because they take forever to make roots and also to um, sprout plants but they're finally starting to make this one is and let me just lift it up so you can see the roots uh, there it is it's starting to make some roots right there and yeah it makes roots you, all you have to do is just just look at what I did. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I mean, I like the toothpick thing. Although it's a bit dangerous, it could poke your eye out. But anyways, you just um, put some toothpicks onto this random sweet potato plant. It's best if you um, buy them when they're in season, because that's when they're at their freshest. So I bought this in November, and I planted it in December here in this cup. It's filled with water, by the way. So you just um, fill it up with water. Plop some toothpicks onto the sweet potato and just plop them in the water, and that's it. You just gotta wait, um, like a long time, like about months, a month. Like it's right now, it's December. I did this in November, and it's barely starting to make these little, little tiny sprouts. Well, this one is, this one hasn't yet. Um, oh, and you also have to change, um, the water once in a while because then if you keep the same water, it's gonna start rotting. And you don't want that, so uh, change the water every so often, like probably every week, if you want to do sweet potatoes. They're a fun plant, really. Uh, I did I did sweet potatoes last time, and it was so impressive the way that their vines like grew all over the place. Um, not as much as the pumpkin vine, of course, but still, it was like a lot. I grew it in a garbage can, and it was really cool, but the thing was that I didn't get that much of a harvest because I was not patient enough to wait for the sweet potatoes. I was like, oh, I want to see what's under the ground. I want to see if they already made sweet potatoes. I'm going to pull them out, which was in October. It was too early. I should have waited until December, like right now, because the, the frost barely started coming right now. So, yeah, um, with, when it comes to sweet potatoes, um, you just wait for the plant to sprout up, and then you'll see it'll start growing and growing and growing. And then once it's like reaches a desirable size, like, I don't know, like probably around here, maybe, and it has like a considerable amount of leaves. What you'll do is you'll pinch it off the root uh, of the potato root, and then you'll put it in its own water, and then it will, and then the the little leaves will start making their own 
um, their own roots, and then you'll transplant into your garden around the springtime. So that's why it takes so much time. You have to get this to make root, which is already starting to do it. And then you have to wait until this grows. And then after that, you'll have to pinch it off and have that make root. And then once it makes some root, you have to put it in soil inside the... Um, and then you have to put it in soil so it could get used to being around soil. And then you transplant to the garden in the springtime. So it's best to start early than late um, because... If you start late, I learned that, um, that then you'll have a delayed harvest, such as the pumpkin over here. I had in November, and frost was threatening, and so it's best to start early than late. And if you mess up because of early frost, then no worries, you could plant some more. So there it is, sweet potatoes. And by, I'll, make, I'll show an update video on them, but right now they're starting to make little sprouts. And here are a new plant that I planted that I forgot to show uh, when I planted them. These are tomatoes, tomato seedlings. They're starting out really well. I'm extremely, extremely impressed with this one, especially over here. It's starting already to make its own uh, true leaves. And the root system is so, like, wow. It's already starting to make um, the roots. You can see them in the plastic bottle. And once they start like circling around over here, I'm gonna have to transplant them to a deeper pot, but they haven't started doing that yet, so I'm gonna keep them over here. And oh, and I forgot this variety is a heirloom variety called Black Crim. It comes from um, Crimea, uh, I believe, which is close to the Ukraine. So it's an heirloom variety from that region, and it makes some, uh, some medium sized fruits that are black and purplish in color and also a bit has tinges of green so that's really cool and they grow up until six feet long or even larger depends on how much you let them grow so I'm really excited to add these to the garden because never well had like I never planted like indeterminate varieties like varieties that grow all over the place and they don't stop growing until something stops them so these I am so excited for Oh, and also, you may be wondering why I didn't, like, fill up the soil up to, like, over here. Well, tomato plants like um, deep roots, and so, and also, um, what they do is that if you add soil over here, they'll start making roots on the stem. That's what's so unique about these plants, that um, they'll start making roots along the stems. Like, they, they just basically make roots wherever they can. Um, that's something really cool, so when they start outgrowing this, I'm gonna start filling it up with soil, and then once, and so they could have like roots along the stems, and then once they start making these circling around, oh sorry, when they start circling around over here, and it looks like it's starting to overcrowd a bit, I'm gonna transplant them to deeper pots, but right now they're still in their early stages. And if you wanna grow tomatoes, um, more like over here, uh, it's okay, you don't have to have like only one plant per pot. Because you could actually have two plants for pots. I mean, look at them. They're like really healthy and um, they're, they're growing well. So you could do two to three plants per pot. It doesn't have to be like, oh, you only have to have one because the others will like suck the energy. But for this one, though, I'm going to have to thin some of these out. Uh, yeah, like this. Oh, look at the roots. That's awesome. So, yeah, um, you have to... If there's like a bunch of them, like for example over here, just thin them out a bit, like to some two or three, and you'll be fine, no worries. Um, oh my gosh, the smell is so good. Yeah, I know that like um, that um, tomato leaves are poisonous, but still the, the smell is just so amazing. It's really good how they smell. But anyways, the tomato plants, I'm going to plant them in spring. Oh, technically you uh, start tomato plants eight weeks before your last frost. So for me, it'd be early January. So that's when you'd start them. But I was like, during Thanksgiving break, I was, uh, I was bored. So I decided, huh, oh, maybe I'll just plant them early and see what they do. And so, yeah, they grew. It's, it's okay if you start a bit early. It doesn't matter anyways. So there they are. And here, another plant I forgot to show when I planted. It is, it is asparagus. So... Um, if you notice from uh, my previous video that I have um, asparagus uh, outside, and so I decided, well, 
Uh, oh, it's because the ones from outside were started from roots. And so I was like, well, I want to try asparagus from seeds. And I was like, yes. So that, that'd be cool. And so, yeah, they actually grew. They said that the seed package said that it takes like about a month for asparagus seeds to germinate, but these only took two weeks. So I was kind of impressed, like, wow, it didn't take me that long. Um, and so here they are. They're starting out really well. I'm really impressed with this. However, once I transplant them, I won't be able to harvest them for some... Let's see, the first year you can't definitely because they're barely like starting to get acclimated. And the second year you can't do it either because they're barely like making thicker stems. So you can't har so if you start them from seed, you can't harvest them until like three years after. And by that time I'm gonna be in college, so I can't so well I won't be able to harvest them, but at least my mom or my sister will, so that's kinda cool. I have a pepper plant. But it hasn't started germinating, and the thing is, this peppers are supposedly supposed to start um, like some two weeks after you sow them. It's been a month already, and they haven't started coming out. So I don't know what happened. I think the but I think the um, seeds are a bit old because if you have old seeds, then it takes them forever. But then I was like, oh man, I should plant some other peppers and like buy them online or something like that. But then I noticed that, I'm not sure if you could see it. You see that little green thing right there? Right around my finger, right here. And then I saw, oh, that's a little pepper seedling. That's cool. Um, it's a jalapeno temprana. Uh, I think that's the name of the variety. I, I, I can't remember because it was a long time. These seeds are a bit old, so that's why. It took them about a month. But... Um, these, they finally started coming out, so I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll have peppers after all. And they actually, you're supposed to start them around this time, late December, and so they came out right on time. So that's good. Um, these took a month to come out. These took two weeks. It was supposed to be, like, reverse, but I don't know. I guess that's just how they wanted to function or something. So yeah, really excited for the new year and also, oh, Merry Christmas too. Forgot to mention the beginning of the video. It's about to be Christmas season. I'm uh, really excited for the new year and also the spring of 2014 because it's, an, it's always a fresh start to start on, um, to start in a new spring because you get to plant plants that you never thought you would. And you also like it to start, it's like a new start for your garden. And like if you didn't have any success, you could start it off like, Spring is, is the season for that. Um, so I'm looking forward to that season. And, oh, and also, some additional crops I'm going to start growing. Um, besides these, the peppers, the asparagus, uh, the tomatoes. I'm also going to start growing um, some okra. Some okra plants, but I'm going to wait until like late spring. Because those need like a very, very warm soil. And I'm also going to start watermelons, cantaloupes. Um, let's see... What other plants? Uh, cilantro. Oh, but I already grow cilantro though. Some a lot of plants basically, like garlic. Um, I can't remember from the top of my head, but yeah, plants of those sorts. So I'm gonna start growing those, and uh, but but that's until spring. And I'm really excited to see the harvest. Um, uh, I will be growing um pumpkin plants though, cause I don't have, cause if I'm gonna be growing watermelon and cantaloupe. I won't have like that much space because those are like those make huge vines just like pumpkin vines. So won't be growing pumpkin unfortunately this year, but I will be growing a huge variety of plants, and I'll be showing you also how to prepare your soil and um, and transplanting your plants by the springtime. However, it's barely the beginning of winter, so it's still some time ahead. So thank you guys for watching. I know I'm barely beginning, but if you see this, please share the video if you like, if this was helpful. Also, if you have any suggestions, please comment. And thank you so much. And Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.